Allah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man wa ala wa ba'd. Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us all to reach the month of Ramadan. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Ramadan is going to be a source of goodness for ourselves, our families, and our communities, and our ummah in this dunya and the akhirah. Alhamdulillah, we have a lot of programs planned for ICN community. And one of the goals that we had when planning these programs is that we want every segment of our community to feel the spirit of the month of Ramadan. And alhamdulillah, I feel like we were able to accomplish this. So you'll see that alhamdulillah, we have a lot of programs that are taking place from the morning till the evening during the month of Ramadan. So as we mentioned in the previous video that Salat Taraweeh is going to be a little bit different. We're going to have two sessions of Taraweeh and we're going to have each session be 45 minutes. So we're not going to be able to do a Khatma Qur'an. But Alhamdulillah, we realized that this is something that some of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum and our early generations did try to finish the Qur'an during the month of Ramadan. So inshallah, after Salat al-Fajr, we're going to have a daily Khatma comprised of Hufad from the community. Inshallah, we'll be streaming live on YouTube and Facebook, and people can join us and follow along with us through that program, inshallah. Another very important program that we have is that we don't just want people to be, recite the Qur'an, we want to help them understand the Qur'an. So on Monday through Thursdays, inshallah, from 11.30 to 1.15, inshallah, Shaykh Umar will continue his tafsir series, and this is open to everybody in the community. And inshallah, again, you can follow these programs on Facebook and YouTube by going on icnmasjid.org slash Ramadan. Also, there are programs for the sisters in the community that speak Urdu, our Urdu-speaking sisters, inshallah. They will also be having a Dawr tafsir from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., inshallah. Another important program that we have is that, you know, alhamdulillah, before Salat al-Taraweeh, inshallah, we're going to have the Khatira. And the Khatira is going to give us some snippets or some main lessons from the juz that's going to be recited each night. So alhamdulillah, that will be taking place in the masajid, but also will be streamed on Facebook and YouTube as well. Alhamdulillah, we're blessed that we're going to be having two sessions of Salat al-Isha and Taraweeh in all three masajid. The goal for Salat al-Taraweeh is to have people in and out within 45 minutes. So the first session, inshallah, will start at 9.15 and we'll try to finish by 10 o'clock. From 10 o'clock to 10.15, inshallah, that's that buffer that we want to be able to get the people out and the second group to come in. And then inshallah, between 10.15 and 10, well, 11 o'clock, inshallah, we'll try to finish that second Salat Taraweeh of Isha, 8 rakas and 3 rakas of Witr, inshallah. But we need all of your help, support, and cooperation. Please cooperate with the volunteers. Follow their leads. And inshallah, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we're able to celebrate the month of Ramadan in a communal fashion, but in a safe manner as well. Also, inshallah, I'm going to ask Sheikh Umar to talk a little bit about the many events that the youth have planned for the community as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to our beloved community, our brothers and sisters, Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan 1442 is literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. It is a blessing to be sharing it with our beautiful community at ICN and beyond. SubhanAllah. So much has happened in the last year. We hope this month of Ramadan will be a healing, will be a cure, will be a blessing for all of us and our families. We have so many events, programs, opportunities, not just to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is the ultimate goal, but also through that coming together with our community. Check out, make sure that you are looking at our website, at our um, different pages, to see our youth programs. We have something middle school, high school, college, service projects, and more. The Ramadan Iftar Drive, and so much that can inshallah turn this Ramadan into that lifetime opportunity. Jazakumullah khair, assalamu alaikum. Jazakumullah khair and Sheikh Umar. Inshallah, we also have a very exciting program for our elementary students. Sister Shazia will be leading a program from 6 to 6.20 p.m. for our elementary age youth, inshallah. Another very important part of Ramadan is being able to donate and being generous. We know the Prophet ﷺ was the most generous at all times, but he ﷺ was even more generous during the month of Ramadan. So alhamdulillah, during our taraweeh sessions, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we will have external organizations come to ICN and talk about their organizations and how we can help support them, inshallah. And I'd like to mention a special jazakumullah khairan to Brother Imran Beg for putting this schedule together. 
So alhamdulillah, you see that we have a lot of events and opportunities to celebrate the month of Ramadan in a safe manner, but in a communal fashion. We need all of your help, support, and dua. And jazakumullah khairan to all the volunteers and everybody in the community. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He blesses us and protects us from all types of trials and tribulations, those which are apparent and those which are hidden. Initially, we had also planned to do a Ramadan prep seminar, but there were so many different activities going on in the community that we decided to release this video instead. But those of you that are interested in some of the fiqhi aspects or issues, then alhamdulillah, we have our recording from last year's pre-Ramadan seminar, which you can find inshallah at our website, icnmasjid.org slash Ramadan. And inshallah, if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and to Shaykh Umar. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he blesses us. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gives us the ability to maximize the benefits of this Ramadan. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that those in our community and our ummah that are not able to be with us this Ramadan, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants them Jannat al-Firdaus. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he accepts all of our righteous actions. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifun wa salamun al mursi alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Subhanak Allahum bihamdik nashadu wa la ilaha illa ant nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Take care everybody. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.